Hi, this is Stephanie, and I wanted to show you something really cool that you might not know about Lamp Words for Life. And it has to do with a button action that you can set up to record messages that you have created on the device onto a blank button. So here is an example of a message I just created. Yesterday I went to doctor. I got bad shot. So let me show you how that was done. You construct your message. I like that cookie. So I've constructed a message. Now I'm going to navigate. I just programmed this button under the yes because we have lots of blank space. This orange button that says say this, when I press it, it's going to do something special. It's going to ask me to select the button where I want to store your composed message. I can press continue and press any one of these buttons. I'm going to press one of the ones that have no text on it. And then you can see, I'm going to clear. I'm going to go to yes. And when I press that button that I, that says, I like that. I like that cookie. Now let me just demonstrate again what happens if I say cookie. Cookie. Good cookie. So if I go to yes and I press the orange say this button and hit continue. If I touch any of the buttons that already have text on it, it replaces what was there. Good cookie. Back to the yes page. I do think that's a really good place to put it. And maybe you might have good messages here. You know, I, I got a cookie and yes. you have bad messages here. I went to the doctor. I don't know. That's a little complicated, but anyway, back to yes. I'm going to go to menu and edit page. Now let's pretend that the say this and the four white buttons are just not there. Cause I want to show you how I constructed them. I'm going to touch a blank button and I'm going to create a new button and you're going to give the button label, um, whatever you want, um, message. And you can uh, select, it automatically pulled up a, um, an image for me. If you like that, you can just move on. Or if you want to select an image, you could go to the search library and find either, you know, type in another image that you might want to store there. Um, so you're going to choose that. I do like using color. Uh, I'm going to navigate down to the body color. I do like not using one of these system colors, but maybe coming down and finding another color that uh, would be eye-catching. Now, this is where the magic happens. We're going to go to button actions. And the action that I want it to do is not funny. I don't remember now. Store text to button. So I'm going to touch that. I'm going to click save and I'm going to continue saving. All right. Now, the other step is you have to create some blank buttons in order to store the message that you want to store it on. And that is very simple. You're just going to go to create a new button. You're going to leave the label and the message blank. And you might stick with a color scheme and give these buttons a, a visual color so that you know that they're different than other buttons. So I'm just going to create a few of these here. Okay, we'll just call it good. Oops, I didn't change the whole thing. What did I do? I just changed the border. That's okay. All right, so let's test our message. Please. Please. 
Do. Do. It. Please do it. I'm going to go to my yes button. I'm going to press message. Oh, yay. Looking good. I get the store text button. I'm going to hit continue. Touch that. Let me test it. Please do it. Yay. So I would love to learn from you how some of your AAC users might find this helpful. 